my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone and those of you that are brand new to my channel. Hello and welcome my friends. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. Now Scorpio, this is your spring equinox reading everyone. This is a time where everything around us starts coming back to life like the earth, right? And if there's an energy of of rebirth and renewal in the air as well and we're going to notice that our days are getting brighter and longer so the energy overall is just beautiful it's refreshing so what I want to do for you today is I want to open your reading with an oracle card with the healers of the earth oracle deck I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you as well then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the human spirit oracle deck for you and an angel number so those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. Scorpio, let's call in spirit and see what they would like you to know today. So let's open up your reading here. All right, we are getting the karmic scales. Scorpio, justice, atonement, karmic balancing and the number 74 on this card 74 could be a number of significance for some of you uh, i'm getting 74 days around the message of this card here so there's a weighing of scales a balancing out happening some of you are going to feel this energy especially spiritually this shift it's almost like um, it feels like things aren't balanced right now uh, you might be thrown kind of out of your comfort zone know that th that this is a balancing of the scales you're going to receive signs as well so especially feathers pay attention to the feathers around you also those of you that are seeing the number 11 7 plus 4 is 11 okay Woo! that dropped really quickly so i do feel that uh, this energy is going to drop really quickly out of your life, Scorpio. So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. I feel this is opening you up to a new beginning, a new path or a new direction, Scorpio. So Ten of Wands, there is that heavy burdening energy here in some of your lives. This is also a completion of a cycle. This is where you are about to enter a new beginning. This is what I feel like. There's this uh, new energy plane that you're about to arrive in. And whatever has been weighing you down, all of that is going to fall away from you. You might have to do the falling away for it, this energy. So Ten of Wands to start. Eight of Pentacles. So committing yourself, dedicating yourself and devoting yourself to your work, to the things that you want to see growth in in your life. Scorpio, this is going to be super important. It's the number eight. This is where you're taking charge. You have the strength. You have the power. And I feel that spirit guides are showing you how powerful you are through some of the things that you're having to endure. Okay, so what I want you to do as well today, uh, Scorpio, is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. We are in the year number eight as well in numerology, and you just received the number eight, Scorpio. The Hierophant, knowledge, um, getting advice, and I'm getting the number three with this card, so I, I do feel there's, um, if you're able to get advice from somebody that was born on the third of the month, Scorpio, um, their advice is really going to help you in a way, or just even having a conversation with somebody that's born on the third, or if their birth date, like if their um, day of the month that they're born on equals to the number three. So um, uh, what am I getting here? Number three, I have something written down here. Uh, three, 12, 21 and 30th. Those are the dates of someone born in your life 
that you're meant to get advice from. Now, this is a major arcana card, Scorpio. So those of you that are watching, the energy is going to be prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly, okay? So getting knowledge and information, coach, a spiritual guide here, asking your spirit guides for advice, um, for guidance, okay? Now, before I keep going here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you, Scorpio. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So this is a really interesting energy because I, I feel there's like an awakening happening, but there's also spiritual growth where you're reaching another level in your life, Scorpio. And there's this shedding of energies, balancing things out, weighing your options, kind of looking at, okay, what is it that I need to release out of my life? What is it that I need to kind of come out of to move towards this new beginning, towards, to, towards this new project, this new business, this new job, this new relationship? Or this just new path of solitude, whatever that is for you. So, and this is where that balancing act is taking place here. So whenever we are weighing our scales or balancing things out in our lives, spiritually or physically, we go through that turbulent energy, which can sometimes throw us out of our comfort zone or put some weight on us. So I do feel that some of you are feeling this pressure or this weight. This could be like a delay or timeline, deadline around something, time. Um, being precious here for some of you or you're weighing your options around something and perhaps you just have way too much on your plate here Scorpio where you're not able to make a decision around something okay I feel some of you are looking for a direction like you're looking for a way and the way is there it's already there and I feel that because your energy is put all in in these different different wands um, perhaps you're not able to see the path and it's all about clearing this clutter, clearing away these energies and you don't have to like actually clear them away by stopping to do them. It's more so understanding where your energy is going. Is it meant to go there? Like, do you feel drained? Say for example, you're spending a lot of time with, with somebody that you know is draining, maybe limiting how much time you're spending with them to keep that energy in order to direct it somewhere else. Um, the other thing is I feel some of you have worked really hard, like you've been putting a lot of effort into something and maybe you're looking for a, a way on how you're going to make this, uh, maybe you're looking for a way to, like a path uh, to help open, like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some of you wanting to see an opening, I'm trying to, it's almost like playing charades with spirit when they're showing me pictures. So um, they're showing me somebody walking and a path opening up for them. And um, you're seeing things more clear. This is what I'm seeing here with this. And it's, this is through organization is what they're saying. Organization and structure. Okay. Organize your life here, uh, Scorpio. Um, understand like what your daily routine is. Have a calendar. I mentioned this quite a bit on my challenge or cha channel. Oh my gosh. All mixed up energies, words wanting to come out differently. What is happening here? This is so overwhelmed. This is this burden here on you. I don't know if any of you are feeling the weight, the stress in your physical body, because I'm getting aches and pains. I don't know if any of you have lower back pain or stomach pain. Maybe you have a headache even. Um, this is from the pressure. And sometimes I feel like we pre put pressure on ourselves. So this is that release. You have to release the, release the pressure here, Scorpio. This is what they're wanting you to do is release the pressure that you're putting on yourself or you feel is being put on you from some sort of external force or external person or situation. Okay, because this is taking a toll on you. I'm getting fear coming in. Maybe there's some fear around something. Perhaps you're doing things out of fear of hurting somebody. Um, I feel whatever this path is, like what you need to do is understand that there is nothing to be afraid of, especially if there's some fear here in the background. Like I'm getting fear, like maybe you're afraid. Maybe you, maybe you do see the path, Scorpio. Perhaps you see the path, but you're kind of like, ooh, I'm too scared to go that way. So you're kind of like, you start walking towards it and you're like, yee, no thanks. 
Or maybe you're kind of looking at it like, oh my God, that's going to be a lot of work. I don't know if I can do this right now. Maybe I'll hold off and wait, um, but it just seems like it's a lot of work. Or you're trying to kind of figure out how you're going to do this and keep delaying it. So there's many ways that this card can show up, but what I'm getting here for some of you now is this is a closing of a cycle. And if it's fear-based here for you, they're wanting you to push through. Uh, to do one thing towards this thing. If it feels overwhelming, I feel it's kind of like, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel, but it's so much work. Oh my gosh, I can't find the time to film a video. I was like this in the beginning when I first started my channel. And then one day I just bit the bullet. I'm like, I don't care what happens. I'm going to film a video. I'm going to post it today. And I did. And in that video, like I had a lot of different things, like my door slammed shut. Uh, my neighbor, he had a ladder up, which fell. Like all these different things were happening that day, which were kind of I feel it was like a test to see whether I follow through with what I wanted to commit with. And I feel this is kind of what the energy you're feeling. The universe never tests us. I don't believe that. Other people might believe that. But I feel that the experience that you're experiencing, you're actually um, move through it. No matter how scary it feels because you are evolving and you're grow growing through that experience. And that's that cycle. That's that shift. You're moving into this new energy, this new chapter, this new new path. And don't allow fear ever to get the best of you, um, Scorpio. And what is this that I'm seeing on this card? Know that you are um, protected and you are safe as well. Spirit guides want to make sure that you understand that, Scorpio, that you are safe and you are protected. There's nothing to be afraid of. Um, you're being led by signs and your intuition as well. So I do feel that you're tapped in Scorpio. So if you're feeling that energy of intuition, that guidance coming through, that inspiration, that awareness, but you're resisting, follow that path because it's being shown to you. And I'm getting a step-by-step -step energy, which I've been getting for quite a bit of signs as I've been filming today. But I feel spirit guides are showing you step-by-step. -step. And as you are working hard, you're going to see how these things, these, these steps grow into, um, it's kind of, <laughs> they're showing me how it expands into the, the world, the, the reality that you are trying to create here. It's almost like planting a seed and seeing that tree grow, but growing branches in many different directions. And this is what you are doing as you are walking, you are creating your reality by that guidance and not being afraid to kind of walk that path. This is you taking your power back in a sense. And, you know, this is you taking charge. This is you kind of your, your determined will here, desire, all of that, that is there, passion as well. Uh, courage and bravery is also shining through this card, the eight of pentacles. And I feel you're going to leave, um, you're going to be a trailblazer. This is what they're showing me is a trailblazer. And um, it's so beautiful because you put a lot of effort and work into the things that you want to see growth in. You're very passionate here, Scorpio. I always find that um, it's not that I always find that you, but I just feel that this energy of the eight, uh, I find people that have the energy of the eight, which is you right now, this is the card I pulled for you, are very passionate. They're able to really dig deep, get the information they need. Like you don't want to be somebody that doesn't know what you're doing. You want to know the facts. You want to know the details. So when you're presenting it or when you're speaking about it, you know what the heck you're talking about. This is this kind of energy. So I feel that the hard work, the effort that you're putting in is going to pay off. This is rewards for your efforts, your hard work. This is, this is you manifesting things into reality, making them tangible. This is you creating things out of your mind, right? It's a very powerful energy that is working with you. So not only are you listening to your intuition, there's belief within yourself of yourself. There's also confidence in the work that you are doing because of the research and the information you're gathering on your own around this. Okay, and I feel those of you that are wanting to master, this is a mastery card. You've mastered something here. Maybe you have put yourself into a system that is working for you. Perhaps you're not seeing results right away, but if you stick to it, keep putting the work in, you're going to see that the fruits of your labor are going to start to sprout and grow. Okay, and um, this is where you're going to see the most success. And 
this, some of you are going through this uh, energy right now where you're thrown out of your comfort zone because you are kind of being karmically cleansed of debts and things that have been kind of following you around Scorpio. And I feel some of you understand that, you know, um, and it's especially, you know, because you've been seeing dreams. I don't know if any of you have been dreaming about yourself from a past life. If any of you had, um, they're showing me near death experience where you may have seen something in that near death experience or, um, through a dream astral projection it's kind of like you left your body it doesn't necessarily have to be a near-death experience this could have been like a quantum hypnotherapy session as well where you kind of left your like i'm getting a body leaving energy here with this um know that things are going to work for you wherever you're putting your energy especially if it's tied to love your heart center you're going to see so much growth in it all right and um what spirit guides want you to do again the research taking in knowledge. I feel a lot of you enjoy reading books. You like to research. You really like digging deep here, Scorpio. Um, a coach, a mentor, uh, someone that you can follow on social media that is aligned to your energy that helps motivate and inspire you. I have a few that I watch. I listen to Dan Ko. Um, currently, I've been listening to uh, Seema Shamash. I also listen to Bashar. Uh, lots of different people that I like to listen to do receive knowledge and understanding, right? So I feel there's like this wisdom that you are gaining through some of the things that you are um, digging through or experiencing that is incoming to you. So not only is this helping you spiritually grow here, at Scorpio, but you are gaining knowledge and wisdom, which is helping you master something, um, understand something so that way you can create abundance and prosperity through it. That's the number eight card. And um, I'm getting the number eight. I'm getting the number 17 and the number 26. All of these numbers add up to the number eight. Okay, so maybe these are dates that are specific for some of you that you need to be aware of or perhaps setting an intention using a candle on these dates in order to manifest something, to initiate or to start something. Um, a spiritual advisor is coming through or maybe you are thinking about being the spiritual advisor, someone that is here to serve, um, to share your words. Uh, maybe this is what you're working towards is really sharing with people your life's experiences, the things that you have gone through, the things that you have overcome, how you did that, what motivated you. Um, perhaps you're wanting to be a motivational speaker, uh, Scorpio. Maybe there's something that you're wanting to share about yourself that can help other humans through your life's experiences. So however you want to express that in the world, through creativity, through communication, through there's so many ways that you can do this, through art, um, <clears throat> through making some sort of a product. I'm seeing some of you working with your hands. This could be you just creating a beautiful environment for yourself, which shows people the, the amount of love and energy that you put into your work that's behind your work. So this is what is, and spiritual growth. Some of you are on this spiritual journey and you have been seeing the growth through the efforts and the hard work that you have been putting in, in order to grow spiritually. So a lot of work on releasing things, working on your ego, kind of unboxing some shadows, really balancing things out there. And Spiritually, I feel some of you're at a point in your life right now where you are balancing that ego. There's almost like this death of the ego and allowing your true self to surface. This has been a lot of work for you, right? And you're starting to see how the scales are, are, are becoming balanced. And what I'm getting here is the signs that are around you with this, especially feathers, okay? I feel that you're seeing feathers, possibly birds, um, especially birds that are singing, like I'm hearing them from a distance right now. They're not outside. They're in my ear on this side. So the right ear could be a sign for some of you of incoming, something to sing about. There's something happy, something joyous coming through. Like everything is going to work out for you here, Scorpio. Those of you that are in a place where you're in a rut or you're confused or you're just wanting a sign from the universe, they're letting you know 
that you're in the right place, everything is going to work out for you, okay? Uh, that you are safe and that you are protected. All right, so what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus card from the Human Spirit Oracle deck and read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So anything that I have missed or anything more that Spirit would like to share with you is going to come through this card. So let's see what Spirit would like to share with you, what more they would like to share with you. Eat your words is coming through here. So number 34 on this card, eat your words. Uh, number 34, those of you that have been seeing this number could be a, a confirmation. 34 days is a, what I'm getting with the timing around this card. So doubt, judgment, rudeness, all of this. Uh, what words are you speaking and what words are you eating here? Scorpio, the number 34. 3 plus 4 is 7. Spirituality here, the numerology. Um, number 7 is all about spirituality, wisdom. Um, it's also about growth and expansion through that spirituality, through growth in spirit. So eat your words. It says hangry, Scorpio. Well, you better taste those words before you consume them. Sometimes all sorts of things come out of people's mouths. Maybe you think being snarky or rude is cute or funny. But here is the real. You never know what someone is going through. Everyone is going through something that is, a, that is relative to, to them. And we, never, and we never quite know how they will digest your words. A kind word can go a long way in the era of Karen and Ken. So douse those words in sugar if you intend on eating them. Bitter words can make you cocky and gag. Now some of us are going through the reverse energy here, which I'm going to read to you. We like big butts and we cannot lie. Oh my God, that's that Sir Mix-a-Lot song. Hey, I'm reading this out of the book, everyone. So uh, that's, that's part of that lyric in that song. I don't know if any of you listen to Sir Mix-a-Lot. This could be a sign for you. Or maybe we don't uh, when, sorry, or maybe we don't when we are the butt of a joke or if we are on the receiving end of someone's forked tongue. We must learn that sometimes people have nothing nice to say or don't believe in you, but you can take this as an opportunity. Use this as fuel, Scorpio. Make them eat your words. Prove them wrong about who they think you are. Be the bigger person here. Serve this shit right back to them on a silver platter with a side of salt. All right, so uh, I'm not the one that's cussing here. It's the book. So um, eat your words, Scorpio. I'm going to now pull an angel number for you. Those of you that have been seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So divine love, 4040. Have you been seeing these numbers? fours or forties. This is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for timing around this card, 40 days, also four days, four weeks, and four months. So divine love, know that you are always loved, Scorpio. No matter what it looks like in your reality, you are loved. Spirit loves you. The universe loves you. And that's all that should matter. And you should love you. Look for the love in your life. Angels are supporting you in this as well. So look for the love in your life. You know, the people that are kind to you, it could be your dog, it could be your cat. Um, the love from the sunshine that is coming through into the window of your home, right? There's love all around us and it's all about us, how we choose to see love in our life. So this is your message, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that, li hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.